Hi, everybody. So, continuing to do inventory on the wing equipment. This is more or less just a... Well, this is only for the first half. Uh, just finishing up counting all of the difficult hardware. It's always nice. This bag contains 255 pop rivets. So couldn't you just weighed those out at that point, since it's only one piece and one bag? Uh, here you can see me sorting everything out into tens. And as always, of the thousands of pieces of material, I think uh, Vans accidentally didn't send one screw. I think there was like a, a set of 10 screws. They, they forgot one. And I think one washer was missing or something like that. So, again, kudos to Vans and their uh, packing. Pardon me. So it's been kind of hard getting any kind of work done lately. Uh, I've now become the maintenance officer uh, for my flying club. The man that was our maintenance officer for a very long time has uh, decided to retire. And I've been kind of uh, assisting him with the idea that I was going to take over one day. Well, that day was last week. So it's been kind of uh, interesting, I'll just say interesting, uh, being able to now actually do the real maintenance on the plane. So I'm, basically, the learning curve is high at the moment, and so the amount of hours I'm spending on the, my plane uh, is very low. But that will all even out once I get the system going. Right now it's more of confused chaos than anything. So here we go, actual construction. This is probably a week later, I think. Um, I have decided, in my infinite wisdom, uh, I, and I've, cause I, I see everyone else doing their wings. I, I, you know, I read countless build logs and everything, and everyone pretty much gets the wings and just goes to the first page of the instructions which is, you know, the wing spar, and starts drilling, and they go at it, just like the instructions say. And that's fine. I have, however, have decided to start with some smaller pieces. Uh, I mean, my build frequency is pretty high. I mean, I mean, it's not like I haven't built anything in a while, and I have to get back into it, but I prefer, you know, I, I as you can see behind me, you know, I, the empennage is a lot of control services, you know, small, flat, easy things to build. And I just finished with the uh, elevators. Uh, I actually do have one more elevator uh, video to put out where I fold the front edges. I don't know why, just I've got to get that video together. Anyway, so I've decided not to start on the main wings themselves, and instead I am doing the ailerons and the flaps. Because, you know, nice small pieces that I can stack out of the way. I'm just, I'm trying to get everything out of the way before... I do the big pieces, because uh, I, I, I don't know. The, right now, like that entire hangar that you see, uh, I wasn't really in charge of it. Now I am, and I'm having. I mean, there's stuff in there that's been there for 15, 20 years. I've got to organize everything. I've got to inventory everything. I'm onboarding a new mechanic for the f flying club, so I'm, I'm trying to get him going. We've got a, a plane doing an inspection. I've got to get him. Uh, going so that he can work on it. It's just, I got a lot. And I'm thinking about reorganizing the way that the hangar's laid out with the work table and everything. So, just for now, having big wings, having a big spar and, and you know, ribs everywhere just isn't kind of an option. So, here I'm starting on the ailerons. I could have done the flaps, but I was really interested in doing the ailerons. They're much like the flaps, only they have a big uh, counterweight in each one. And the pieces, actually, it's not a lot. It's not, It's also nice because there's 
you know, there's a few ribs. There's a couple of ribs. It's kind of like the rudder in that it uses stiffeners on the skins as opposed to fully formed ribs. And since I'm already used to that, you know, that's something that's not too bad. So, uh, a few ribs and some end pieces. The most of the fun so far has been working with the counterweight, which we'll get into later. But here I am, just back to the normal deburring and uh, cleaning of metal. In the beginning, basically, you just work with uh, the... There's, there's three ribs on each aileron, and so you start working with those and a few clamps. Anyway, we'll get on more to that in the next video.